Hi everyone, I'm gonna get on here today. I have an Alta haul and I didn't get this all at the same time. This is when they had their 21 days of beauty and they had um if you buy is it over fifty dollars or something to get extra points. So within like two or three weeks, this is all the stuff that I got and I just saved to do one big haul. So let's see. So the first thing I ordered. Sorry, I have to grab it all. This is just too much stuff. <laughs> is we'll go over the lipsticks. Is the Jaclyn Hill um, liquid lipsticks? Now I've ordered these before. Which one did I order? I think I did a review on it, and I really fell in love with her lipsticks. Um, so I got outspoken. And I just love the packaging, how it has that ombre look. And I will swatch this one. It's got a light vanilla scent, not too strong. That's pretty. Not pretty. Oops. And then I got Krabby, and that's the one I'm wearing on my lips today. And that's the... They're sort of similar, but I think Krabby's little bit has more coral. That's Krabby. I think it's more of a coral, and this is a more of a pink. But I love these lipsticks. And then I decided to get her lip liners, because I heard a lot of good reviews on these. And um, I've tried, which one did I try this morning? What shade was this? It's the wrong one. Coffee cake. I didn't try this one I think I tried praline but they go on so creamy it doesn't skip across your lips I really like it and this one is coffee cake it's pretty and this one I used this morning was praline it's almost similar to coffee cake but it's a little more pinkish, like a pinkish nude. But I am obsessed with these lip uh, liners. Like, I've never had lip liners. A lot of times I have trouble, they skip across my lips or they scratch your lips. And this one's Cupcake. So, and she made these to wear like all her colors where you can mix and match. You don't have to have them similar. Um, and that's the Cupcake. So she made it where the, every single... Um, lip liner will go good with any lipstick. So I like how she did that. So that's what I got. And then I ordered. Sorry, I got to get up and get them. I should have been more prepared. Okay. And then I ordered the MAC. Um, 1405 brush. This has been out for a while. I finally got it. Um, I thought this was pretty for... I should have opened it up before I even... I know I was going to go through all this trouble. Um, for contouring and stuff like that. So that's what I thought it would be perfect for. Well, if I could get the thing off, it would help, wouldn't it? I always have issues with opening stuff all the time and never fails. <laughs> never fails. So, I thought this would be perfect to get that contour, like that perfect chiseled look. So, I'm excited for this, baby. <laughs> really excited for that. And then... <coughs> excuse me I picked up the Anastasia stick blush and I've saw a lot of reviews and usually I'm not too happy with like cream contouring and blushes and stuff but I thought I'd give it a try and I actually tried it on this morning I'm wearing the peachy king I don't know if you can see it with a light 
and um, I actually really like it. Um, what I do is, I mean, you can use, it comes with a brush. Let me show you what the, it comes with a brush. I get, you could dab it on if you want, but I was using my sponge and just dabbing it on. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's a really pretty peach. Just really pretty. And I love it. And then I got another one in latte. And it's the same thing. It has the brush if you want to use it. Um, this is a really pretty color. Oh, this is going to be my winter shade. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, I'm really excited to have these. Because, um, you know, at first I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like... You know, I'm used to the powder foundations. I'm not used to, like, the liquid. But it worked out this morning. I liked it. It wasn't too much. And I also tried this this morning. The Sun Kissed Cream Bronzer by Anastasia. And surprisingly, I like this. This was... Here I go again with the packaging issues. So this is a pretty good bit of bronzer, I'd say, in this. And this is the Sun Kiss. This is one of the lighter shades. Um, comes with a plastic thing on it. But it's, um, I like it. It's just, and it goes good with my skin. I don't know if you can see it. You might not be able to see it because it might blend in right with my skin. <laughs> with the light... No, nope, not much, but yeah, it blended it perfect, and you can build up. So it was light on my skin, but you can build it up. So that's what I liked about that. Because I hate getting foundations that are so dark that it's like, I'd rather build up on a found, er, foundation uh, bronzer than putting something on that's way too dark, and then I can't take it off. Oh, and these liquid lipsticks really stay on because I'm using a wet wipe and I still cannot get it off. You have to scrub and scrub. Alright. Okay, and I also, this was part of the 21 Days of Beauty. And this is the MAC um, Magic Extension Fiber Mascara. I got two of these because it was $12 a piece. Never tried it before, but look at the packaging. Isn't that pretty? I tried it today. I don't want to say I didn't try it before. I never tried it before until I bought it. Um, there was really mixed reviews. A lot of people didn't like it, and then some people liked it. And I'm like, well, it's $12. You know, pay for drugstore. It's like drugstore makeup. I'm going to give it a try. Um, and that's what the wand looks like. And a lot of people said they had an issue during the day with, like, the fibers coming underneath their eyes. I've had it on for maybe third, or no, maybe an hour, and I haven't had an issue yet. But I picked up two of these because I knew I would like these. Well, hoping to like these anyways. But, I mean, right now I haven't, you know, had any issues. So, let's hope it um, stays that way. And I feel like I'm missing something else. Okay, and I also got, they had this for $12, the uh, MAC um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I always wanted this that goes over, it goes on your eyes first to like make sure your eyeshadow stays on longer. And I got the shade um, Soft Orchid, Orchid or something. And I used that today and I liked it. So I got that and that was on sale. That was on the 21 Days of Beauty. Um, so I was happy with that. And then I picked up, this is the first time trying it, the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Wear Mattifying Weightless Waterproof Setting Powder. Now I was looking up reviews because I was like, hmm, I don't know. That's what the packaging looks like. And they're really good reviews. So I ended up picking up two of these because it's so expensive for one. And I end up like basically buying one, get one free deal. So um, I saw a lot of good reviews. And then look at that. It's got like that water look, the texture. Um, and that's the color of what it is. And, you know, it's hard to do like a first impression. Oh, that's like magnet stuck to the other one. But um, 
I felt like it hid like my pore. Like really here I have a lot of texture from like breakouts and stuff. And when I was looking in the mirror, I'm like, my face looks smooth. But um, yeah, so I mean, so far for trying it for the first time, I like it. I'm going to give it a week. But I am glad I picked up two because it was basically like buy one, get one free. And it's a setting powder. So I mean, under your eyes, but I mean, like the texture where I broke out, it like covered it. So I was really excited about that. And then I also got the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Airbrush Powder by It Cosmetics. And this I thought was going to be a little bit bigger for the price, but it wasn't. But hopefully a little will go a long way with this. And I haven't tried it yet, so I'm excited to try that out. And then I picked up from e.l.f. just a lash curler. Just a regular e.l.f. lash curler. And that was only three bucks, so I figured I'd pick that up. And then I picked up for my daughter... Um, the Lisa Frank nail polish, which not gonna lie, I would probably use this too. I just think it was so pretty. She was so excited when she got it. And I also bought her like the nail sticker things to it. They didn't, she, obviously she's a kid. She ain't gonna wait for the video. So she had, as soon as she got them, she opened them up and had them on her hands. Um, and then I also got the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I've had this in a small bottle size. I love this stuff. You can use this for your primer before you put your makeup on. You can use it for your eyeshadows to spray on your brush to make the glitter stand out. And you can also use it to set your makeup. So I love this stuff. Um, I've had a small bottle of it, so I decided to get a bigger one. And then I tried, um, I saw somebody else haul this in their videos. Um, I can't think of what her name was. But it's the NYX Professional Makeup, the Marshmallow Primer. And this was a little bit expensive for NYX. It was $17, but I feel like a little will go a long way. And it smells really sweet. It does smell like a marshmallow. And it didn't break out my face or anything like that. So I probably will purchase this again. Um, so I tried that out. And then last but not least, I didn't even know about this till I went on Instagram with Trend Mood. And I knew Too Faced was supposed to come out. They always come out with their holiday collections. And I knew they were supposed to come out with it's like a Christmas coffee or something I saw on there. But I didn't see anything about this. And then she put on there, go get it now at Ulta. And this is the Too Faced Forbidden Fruitcake. And I have this on my eyes today. I am going to do a separate video of this to let you know my thoughts. Um... But that's what the packaging looks like. It's a small one, small tin packaging. Nice for travel. Um, and usually they have scents in theirs. And I'm still like getting over cold. So I can't really smell that good right now. Smell things that good. <laughs> yeah, I can't smell that good. But this is what the colors look like. Beautiful fall colors. So I am definitely excited to keep trying different looks with these, but I will have, um, sometime maybe next week, I will do a review for y'all. Like I said, I can't smell anything because I'm still getting over a cold, but that I think is all it. Oh, and then I got like these three gifts. This is the Lancome, I think it's like a tint sunscreen, and I thought that was really neat. And it looks like it might be my shade, so I might need to try that. And then they also sent me a free, like, a ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrate Foundation in light. So I think I'm going to give this stuff a try. I like how they send little samples like this, because, you know, if you don't like something, you're not going to... Or you don't know if you're going to like something, you don't want to spend the money on it. So I like how they send little samples like that, but... Anyways, that's it for my haul. Um, let me know if y'all picked anything up for the 21 Days of Beauty or the extra points and stuff. Um, and I'm excited. Too Faced, they're supposed to be coming out with more. I think like one more. I don't know. I just saw like the coffee one for Christmas. So I'm excited for that. Um, I've tried like some of their holiday ones. Like the ones that they have in the boxes. And a lot of people don't like that formula. And I like Too Faced, but I do agree that I think the formula in the tin packaging, for some reason, is a little bit better. So they're supposed to come out with another little tin one. 
like this, but I do like this because it's easy to take, you know, if you're going on a trip, put it in your, I mean, you can put it in your purse if you want to touch up or stuff like that. So I am excited for their new launches. So let me know if you picked anything up. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.